Hey guys, I'm the RC Jet Jock, and we are headed to Scottsdale. All right guys, now that we've landed in Scottsdale, I'm gonna get some rest, and tomorrow we'll head out for our next adventure. Hey guys, before we head out for our adventure today, we're gonna stop and get our expensive coffee this morning from Dutch Brothers. Now we don't have Dutch Brothers down by us, but my in-laws from Oregon are always talking about it. So we're gonna give it a shot. Before we head over to the Cactus Classic in Florence, we're gonna stop by Penal Air Park. As you can see, this clipped wing 747 was meant to be a tourist attraction, but it never took off. Pun intended, of course. Penal Air Park is amongst one of the largest storage facilities in the world for aircraft. They chose the dry, arid climate to make sure that none of the airplanes are able to corrode. Now, most of these airplanes will be scrapped, but their parts are sold so other airplanes can fly for many years to come. Now, let's go see some RC flying. Right, guys here we are at the Sun Lakes right. Model Airplane Club well let's go check and see what they've got going on All right, guys, we're here with the vice president of IMAC. Um, what does IMAC stand for? International Miniature Aerobatic Club. All right, and uh, what what are we doing out here today? We're uh, having a contest. Uh, there's 23 guys out here. Uh, we're doing scale aerobatics. It's uh, just precision aerobatics and having fun. We're on a lunch break right now. Everybody's eating pizza. All right, and uh, you all have different classes and stuff? Yep, basic through unlimited. Um, basic, sportsman, intermediate, and uh, advanced. And, uh, yeah. And uh, what uh, what makes up the difference in the in the classes? Uh, so the sequences that we fly, there's a K factor on them, and uh, it, it ramps up for every you know advancement that you go. Uh, the unlimited K factors are in the 400 range, and basic is at 100. So okay. um, it just kind of steps up, and the maneuvers get a little bit more advanced. Every, you know, the more you go up. And uh, what kind of aircraft do you have to have to be involved with this? So in basic, you can pretty much fly anything you want. Um, sportsman through unlimited, you have to have a uh, scale replica within 10% of the actual full-size airplane um, to, to, in order to compete. Okay. And um, as far as like, is there a size uh, requirement there on these aircraft? There is no size requirement. No. Now, what about power plant? There's no power plant. It could be electric or uh, gas. So is there any, uh, is there any um, I guess, difference for the electric aircraft because maybe of uh, how long they can stay up between battery changes? Yeah, so a lot of times uh, some of the electric guys need to be able to fly two sequences back-to-back um, 
back without landing, okay. uh, which is for some people it's difficult. For the electric guy that we have here today, he's able to do it. So yeah, see if I was up there today, I like fly full bore, so I'd probably yeah, be in a world of mess. Definitely have to practice throttle management. Yes, um, and I heard uh, kind of a little bit from somebody else that they, that y'all have EDFs entering the mix now. Uh, possibly not within iMac. Uh, okay. There is a, another thing called FDS. Okay. Uh, there's turbine jets, EDF jets, uh, and the contest that we had to on two weeks ago, we actually put on one of those as well. Oh, sweet. Just, so it, was, it, was, it was a lot of fun. Awesome. Yeah, that's that's what we kind of specialize in. Me and my girls, so we fly EDFs at home. So. Um, how does one get involved with this uh, if one was to choose? You can go to mini-iac.org um, and you can, you can be a member. You don't have to be a member to go to a contest. Um, most of the regions, first time basic pilots are free, so if you want to go check it out, just go out there and tell them you're new and probably let you fly for free. And if someone was wanting to just get started in this, they want to break the bank on a first airplane, what would be a good first airplane to get into uh, anything, for this? Anything cheap, you know, come out here with electric, uh, Oh, T38 or whatever that little foamy thing is. Uh -huh. I had a couple of those in the basic class. Okay. Um, to be able to start, and now the last guy that I've seen that had one of those, now he's flying at a 40% extra 300. So. Awesome. So it, do, it doesn't matter. It could be a scale worm or like a P38. Yeah, yeah and you, you can fly anything you want, basically. Okay. Awesome. All right. Well, great. Thank you for your time. Thank you, sir. All right. Y'all have, have a great event here. This is yeah, really cool you. to see.
inverted blind. There you go. I'm with uh, Daryl over here in Arizona, and uh, he's uh, going to show me um, exactly what we're going to be doing out here. I I'm actually going to be uh, helping them uh, with the judging of this event here. So in, in front of us here, we have the advanced sequence. It's a series of 10 maneuvers that that particular category is going to fly. They're judged on perfection. Um, everybody starts with a 10, but it, the deductions start coming down uh, as they go through the maneuvers. All right.
so I'm just glad I don't have to do the judging, because I don't know what I'm looking at. Why not? Because I don't know what I'm looking at. I'll try that stuff in the plane. So, are you going to try that in your jet? I'll try that. I'll let you fly. Daryl, you were supposed to tell them not to fly. They asked you. I said if it starts doing it, bring it in. Ah. If Daryl is zero. What an awesome event and great flying. It's really cool learning about parts of the hobby that I've had no experience with. And being a scribe, that was pretty cool too. If you want more information about iMac or the Sun Lakes RC Club, I'll have links to both of those in the descriptions. Next week on part two, we're going to be headed over to Arizona Model Aviators for Wings Over Arizona. So until then, like, share, and subscribe, and get your families in the hobby. We'll see you next time.